Hey everyone, it's your friendly graduate assistant. Let's take a few minutes and figure out the confidence margin of error for this estimate. Uh, let's say for we've got issue Z and we've got 1,000 respondents and we need to figure this on out. Now one of the most important things to remember when you're doing this is quite often you're working to a 95% and the decimal equivalent of 95% uh, when you're talking about statistics in the normal curve and all, is 1.96. So we have our equation written here already. The way that we're going to set this up is uh, 1.96 times the square root of 0.25, that is a constant up here, over um, lowercase n, which is for us, 1,000. You can see that's where I got my lowercase n from. If we work this out, uh, 0.25 over uh, 1,000 is point, uh, what is it? Point zero one five eight. If I multiply 1.96 times 0 0.0158, I'm left with 0.03 or 3 percent. So when we're looking at using 1,000 respondents, our maximum um, confidence margin of error is 3 percent. So we can estimate um, the outcome of issue Z plus or minus 3 percent.